This is one of the most popular shopping malls, but I'm not here for shopping. I will have a look at the rooftop to an urban farm. Farming is the latest trend in Singapore. Imagine 90% of all food is imported. During the pandemic, there have been supply chain issues. So, goal by 2030 is to have 30% of food self-sufficiency. And that's why everywhere in Singapore, urban farms are popping up. And one of the urban farmers is a former DB techie. Now you've been a techie at Deutsche Bank and transformed to a farmer, did you have any experience? Uh, no, the only experience I, I would say is uh, I had the benefit of being very curious in terms of what could I do. I had many fails, but every fail brought me closer to um, my goal, meaning to say um, it was an emotional roller coaster ride because you get to experience failures or setbacks, I would call them. But the challenge actually brings the best out of you, meaning to say, after every failure, right, can I fail fast and fail forward? What can I do next to actually get it to work? And the many types of failures that I've experienced, they are sort of uh, balloons that float up into the air of experience. So every time when I want to do something, I will be able to pull all these different experiences and emotions that I've had in overcoming challenges. And um, this got me to successfully grow the oyster mushroom. And the mushrooms you're selling to whom? To Deutsche Bank? Oh no, I gave them to try I gave them to try so I cooked them at home and later on I started off a business also you're looking to me like a multi tell but where do you earn the money <laughs> yeah, I get paid by doing uh, workshops for grow your own food that's one fitness I also do talks also about climate change uh, what can we do as communities uh, CSR projects also so that is where I get paid so I do it for schools uh, for organizations for communities for banks also so what happens is they will find a way to mount all of this onto a wall, okay? Or maybe they have a metal piece like this hanging. Okay. And hanging yeah. Down, okay. And the plants will start to grow out. And when they grow out, they actually cover all of this, so you don't actually see um, these pots over here. Yeah. So there's drainage system and the water's come down. Yeah. So you don't. That's one. correct. And you don't use a lot of water in that yeah. sense, also. Yeah. Be a home for bees, honey bees, actually. Honey yeah, bees, yeah, yeah. 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 We can go inside. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Yeah. The honeybees yeah, yeah, don't yeah, honey. like me. Huh? Yes. So a lot of awareness goes into um, nature. Honeybees for pollination, uh, butterflies, dragonflies. Yeah. How important is it that we react now? You see, money is a piece of paper. And you, once the, your climate is basically uh, not so healthy, um, let's say the soil is polluted with um, a lot of uh, pesticides, for example, and then people have to move off the land, you can't grow your food. Uh, the cost of goods is going to go up, the cost of food is going to go up. Um, and if you destroy everything, which is uh, the types of food that you can put in your body and you're left with money, you can't eat the money. So if you were to give a, a monkey, for example, a banana and money, right? He would not take the money, he would take the banana. Urban farming, maybe a new approach. What could you do to enhance the quality of our environment? Write it in the comments.